six mechanical trees fighting climate change. It's not science fiction. It is a real way to help clean up the air we breathe. ABC 15's Cameron Pullum shows us how it works. A major breakthrough in the battle against climate change is nestled amongst the trees at ASU's Tempe campus. It's not good enough anymore to just stop emitting. Dr. Klaus Lackner is referring to human caused greenhouse gases, more specifically carbon dioxide, the primary factor driving the climate crisis. In other words, we need to pull carbon dioxide, carbon out of the environment again in order to balance the books. For two decades, he's worked on a solution to do just that. It's called the mechanical tree, a prototype machine that removes CO2 directly from the air. So here we are, uh, this is the main drum. Rayon Fasani, vice chairman with Carbon Collect Limited, helped to bring Dr. Lackner's vision to life. Inside that drum contains a column of 150 large disc-shaped filters that perform the magic once hoisted in the air. There's a material inside the disc that attracts the CO2, a little bit like a magnet. As they float in the air about 30 feet above the ground, those discs begin to capture the carbon dioxide. After about an hour, they're lowered back into the canister where the gas is then removed. It's a process real trees do naturally, but at a much slower rate. For a tree of an equal size to this thing, we are about a thousand times faster removing CO2 from the atmosphere. Humans release about 36 billion tons of CO2 into the atmosphere every year, while this one mechanical tree removes about 73,000 pounds annually. Its creators one day envision force of them running 24-7. When we get to that level, then we'll be able to really impact climate change much more fundamentally. At least that's the hope, and it all starts here. In Tempe, I'm Cameron Polam, ABC 15, Arizona.